Welcome in this new weekly vlog. So I'm sharing today what I've been working on last week and this week. So I didn't film a lot actually for this weekly vlog because for this past 10, almost 10, 11, 12 days, we have such a gloomy, dark weather and it is quite challenging to film when you have such a bad natural light and I don't want to use my electric lights anymore for my vlog so so it wasn't always very easy to film because really even today it is nine degrees celsius when i'm filming this it's really spring because you see that the trees have uh, leaves on but otherwise it's it more looks like uh, the end of february or beginning of march but that's it i'm going to show you what i have done so last week i have finished to visit white cat which is a fairy tale by madame Donois. i visited it a lot these past years um, I finished it with White Cat Hunter. It's White Cat who is riding her monkey. You're going to see her and I'm going to tell more about it. And this week I have started to work on a fairy tale I have never explored so far. It was written in 1697, 1698 and it is called Le Mouton in French. And in English it has been translated as the rum but it's not the accurate translation because Madame Donois didn't choose to use the word Bélier, she, she chose sheep, the king sheep, and I think there is a reason. She likes to play with language, she's extremely careful with the words she uses, the way she, she plays with them. It's something you can't totally guess when you read in another language. Her style is really flattened when you jump to the English translation, but of course this is uh, the only one, the only way you can dive into her world, so we can be thankful for that. That said, I have started to work on the ship, so I'm going to share with you what I have been working on, the characters I'm doing, and uh, more details about this great story. It is the 1st of May, it is a bank holiday here in France and I think in other countries in Europe, I think so. Um, and in France we have a lot of bank holidays in May, so if you come to travel in May in France you just need to be careful uh, to that because you may have a lot of things closed um, because they do these sort of things, they call bridges, les ponts, and people just don't work. They go to enjoy themselves and to have fun. I'm going to stay making them and work actually on a really great fairy tale this week because it's a real spring fairy tale called The Ram. This story is full of her beautiful, amazing imagination. It's a fireworks of beautiful ideas as always and it's just perfect for this season. So I'm going to share uh, more of the story, more of the characters I'm working on. I've already started The King Sheep and I'm going to do a few other ships from the, from the story. They are all are princes, kings, which have been turned on, into ships by a fairy because of their behaviors and things like that. And this one, unfortunately, has an unhappy ending. It's not going to end really well for our kingship. But uh, we are not there yet. I'm going to share a bit more of what I'm doing. And if you remember, I had started this character last year. I had made a twin, which I sold actually, um, finished and I sold it in my shop last year. Um, I had made a twin because it was made for an exhibition last year and I didn't totally finish it really. I, it wasn't perfect. I had to go a little fast. 
So I didn't know really what to do with it. I didn't know what, if I would finish it completely or do something else. I'm absolutely not inspired to finish her right now. <laughs> I tried and I'm already working on this other fairy tales by Madame Donoir and I, I'm just not inspired. So I'm going to change her. You're going to see her metamorphosis because I wanted to have one sheep seated. So I already have my chair and I'm already worked, did quite a lot of work on her back. So I thought it would be nice to use it. And I need a spoon at some point. At some point so I'm going to rework the spoon because the sheep uh, have a delicious good day, they are eating a lot of delicious things, 17th century delicious things, so I wanted to have that, so I thought I'm going to change her because I already have a good start here. So I'm going to remove her dress or that, of course I can remove already, uh, I can remove already her soupe which was a mice a soup so I'm going to use that I will keep that you know what I'm going maybe to use it for something else or maybe I will use the plate and have other fruits in, in it you will see En faisant ses réflexions, elle s'avançait vers le lieu où elle entendait bêler. Mais quelle fut sa surprise en arrivant dans un endroit assez spacieux, tout entouré d'arbres, de voir un gros mouton plus blanc que la neige, dont les cornes étaient dorées, qui avait une guirlande de fleurs autour de son col, les jambes entourées de fils de perles d'une grosseur prodigieuse, quelques chaînes de diamants sur lui et qui étaient couchées sur des fleurs d'orange. Un pavillon de draps d'or suspendu en l'air empêchait le soleil de l'incommoder. Une centaine de moutons parés étaient autour de lui qui ne paissaient point l'herbe, mais les uns prenaient du café, du sorbet, des glaces, de la limonade, les autres des fraises, de la crème et des confitures, les uns jouaient à la bassette, d'autres au lance quenet plusieurs avaient des colliers d'or enrichis de devises galantes, les oreilles percées, des rubans et des fleurs en mille endroits. Merveilleuse demeura si étonnée qu'elle resta presque immobile. Elle cherchait des yeux le berger d'un troupeau si extraordinaire, lorsque le plus beau mouton vint à elle, bondissant et sautant. « Approchez, divine princesse, lui dit-il, ne craignez point des animaux aussi doux et pacifiques que nous. »« Quel prodige Des moutons qui parlent. »« Ah, madame, reprit-il, votre guenon et votre doguin parlaient si joliment, avez-vous moins de sujet de vous en étonner ?» Une fée répliqua merveilleuse leur avait fait don de la parole. C'est ce qui rendait le prodige plus familier. I've started to work on these characters. The, sh the king sheep is the more advanced one. I have finished his face, his crown. I'm working on this sort of pavillon. I'm really following the description really well, really carefully. He has some orange flowers uh, under him and I'm going really to follow the description, trying to make one or two funny things around him. So here there will be some golden sort of fabric uh, around him probably something like that I'm not really sure I'm going to experiment a few things and it's going to be in very light springish colors I want to work with very bright and nice colors I'm also working on what they are eating because they are eating delicious things uh, I plan to make probably four or five ships so one king ship two small ships there is a lady ship here so you can recognize her she was my white cat eating her dinner and I was absolutely not inspired to, to work on her after doing it last year so I decided to change her completely and she's going to be a nice lady ship eating probably what is she eating she's eating some strawberries some confiture, some cream, all sorts of nice delicious things. So she's going to be there and she's also going to be surrounded by garden things. 
because there was there is a garden theme really in all the description Madame Dolnois does about this ships in the in the valley in the in the field I have another one here you can tell he's not done the the colors are not chosen nothing is done it doesn't have any details yet I, I need to sculpt all that so that's what I've done it doesn't look a lot but I thought my week was pretty productive I really was uh, not very tempting to do a lot of things this week anyway because the weather was so bad and so dark and gloomy that I was really focused on my ships and my new characters so that's what I have done this week and as always I like to write some excerpts of the text the description the things which are really inspiring me for my scenes and to do some just yes, raw sketches nothing really crazy just to have some ideas they are playing all sort of games too some 17th century card games so maybe I'm going to do that I'm not really sure and I was just having a vague idea on how I'm going to do the pumpkin carriage if I do it. If I do it, he's going to be not very big and he will have some goats. Maybe it's going to be a fun, a fun carriage to do. And I was also working on other fairy tales but I will keep them for later. For the moment I'm sharing that with you because this is what I'm working on. But I've also some other... I've worked also on other fairy tales so that's what I was doing. And I also wanted to mention this book because it's totally related to our fairy tale La Cuisine des Fées and it was published many years ago I think in 2001 and it's a book about recipes inspired by fairy tales. But you also have some interesting text about the forest, the castle, the garden, the ogre, the witch all these classic, uh, classical ingredients you have in fairy tales. So it's both for people who like to cook and people who like fairy tales. I'm not sure it's available in English or in any other foreign languages, maybe. If not, it's still an interesting and beautiful book to have in your collection of fairy tales. This, uh, so today it is totally related to our uh, ship because there are some recipes inspired by the beautiful description Madame Delois makes of the kingdom of the sheep. So there are there are some recipes of foie gras, of course, it's not for our vegan friends. <laughs> they will not like that, le boudin blanc, la tourte en fait. Uh, I just wanted to mention that if you were interested and if you wanted to cook a bit and to eat, just like in fairy tales. Just a great book to have. And the reason uh, there are so many monkeys actually in her fairy tales, there are really a lot. There is Babiol, there is a monkey in this um, story, White Cat. There are blue monkeys, I don't remember in which one, who, which, who are driving a carriage. There, are, there is a monkey in the room at the beginning too. So it's just a, a, an animal which appears a lot in her fairy tales. And the reason was she had a monkey when she was in Spain. Now, I couldn't remember where I saw, I read that because I read many, many things both online and on my books and I couldn't find the excerpt of that but I thought, did I dream that she had a monkey in Spain? I couldn't find the text. I will, I want to go back to try to find the, the source of where I saw that. Thank you so much for watching this clumsy vlog. I will see you soon with other characters. I will have my ships which will arrive on Etsy these upcoming days. The white cat is still there so she's going to be joined by the other ones next week and probably the week after before I jump into another fairy tale. Uh, if you are also subscribed to my newsletter, my monthly newsletter, it is shipped once a month, uh, you will have more information about Madame Dolnois, more details, things like that. I know not everybody is interested in that and it's fine but I receive 
quite often some requests, some questions about her, people who are discovering her, her fairy days, who is she, well, what's all this thing about her. So I will write more details about that in my upcoming newsletter, which should be sent today or tomorrow. So if you are subscribed, you will receive that in your inbox. For now, I will leave you here. I have put the link of the story, both in French and in English, just under the video, if you want to read it, because I think you should, and it will give you more context also to understand what I'm doing. Uh, of course, I have always the reference of the text I'm using on my videos, but if you want to read the story, it's not a long one, you can just do it under the video, and of course you can find it in many books versions. If you go on secondhand website, um, all these sort of good places where you can find nice old books. So you can subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss the next videos and you can give a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And for now, I leave you here and I go back to my sheep world and to Madame Donois fairy tales. Mm -hmm.